a rather innocent looking seal with a freshly killed baby shark in its mouth. Aww, he's a cute little murderer like blub blub. I will eat you. Blub blub. Hello everybody, welcome back to the one, the only, easy peasy. I'm Cougar, I'm today's narrator, and we're diving into a brand new subreddit r slash Nature is freaking lit. You know, I see Godzilla's head in the cloud, you know, right there at the top right in that like lightning storm thing. Either way, that's pretty awesome looking. It looks like the night sky through one of those telescope things. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> I know it's the golden brick road, but I just think about how th this looks and I want to prance through it, but I don't want to kill the flowers. Ah, uh, yes, normal daylight in Alaska. You get 30 days of night. By the way, decent movie. If he senses danger, a Jacana dad will bundle his chicks under his wings to keep them safe. The mothers do this too, and it's absolutely terrifying, but also cool, but Jesus, it looks like some SCP thing. Here's some tobacco hornworm caterpillar feet for everyone. Aw, look at them. They're little cute. They look like tiny caterpillars themselves. Aw. House by the lake in the winter wonderland. Uh, okay, yeah, this looks cool. It's really pretty, but I live where it gets this much snow. It's not fun. It's cold and it's terrible, but also snow's pretty, but it's terrible. Dude, is this bird's wings see-through? That's freaking awesome. It's like gliding through the sky on rainbows. Two brothers and a waterfall. Iceland. That is the cutest pictures of brothers just broing down I've ever seen. Aw, look at the little guy getting lickers from his mouth. Mom. By the way, that tongue would be really rough, but still, he looks so, so cute, both of them are. A turtle riding a jellyfish. Huh, that's pretty interesting. Also, sea turtles eat jellyfish, if I'm remembering correctly. That's why you should never put plastic bags in the ocean. So remember, dispose of stuff properly. Came across two beautiful albino deer this morning. I've never seen one, let alone two. Thought it was picture worthy. Dude, every single deer, or as I like to call them, future cadence and or forest puppies are worth taking photos of. Those things are adorable. Even if they are skittish and ruined my first car. Sloth bear mama with cubs. Oh my god, that's adorable. That looks like Paddington bear. <laughs> Crosswind in Nikita. I love it. It's just like doo 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 doo. Crossing the street with my kids. That is a beautiful, beautiful elephant, and it's a shame that people hunt them for their freaking ivory tusks. How could you hunt something so majestic? I'm not gonna lie, this tiger's emotions are 100% captures what my face looks like every morning I go outside, and the freaking wind hurts my face. These amethyst geodes are huge. Dang, dude, you could live in one of those. Sure, it'd be pokey and uncomfortable, but it'd be so majestically beautiful. Mandarin duck. Dude, why don't any of our animals in the United States look this majestic? I mean, they're all like plain and normal color. This thing is awesome. Oh, it's a seashell in the seashell down by the seashore. Say that five times fast. This reminds me of Bambi when his mom appears to him, but really it's just Bambi's dad like, look, son, I am majestic. An elephant stretching in the morning. Oh yeah, you really gotta do the downward dog. Well, that's not really downward dog. Let's call this the reaching for the sun elephant. That's my new favorite yoga pose. This photo of a blue jay is A-OK -okay in my book. 10 out of 10, my dudes. Mid-flight in the winter. Awesome. Oh, look. It's a cougar. Narrated by a cougar. It could just be a mountain lion. They look the same. I don't really know the difference, but yeah, those claws could kill you. Wood duck. Aw, that is a cute duck. It looks like a mallard while well, the ones with the green head, but still... That is one cute duck. You know what they say, view is always better from the top. That's right, I just gotta sit here and be camouflaged with the woods and look beautiful as hell while I'm doing it. Okay, is this a real photo? This, I want this to be the new backdrop to my phone. I am saving this photo and it's my new backdrop. That is awesome. I don't know how you got this photo, but 10 out of 10. Oh, look at the little fox buddy all curled up like, hey, how's it going? I look pretty majestic, right? You should take that photo. Plus, its eyes are beautiful, dude. Hey, Mr. L, you know who's beautiful and majestic? Who? You are. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to go through that joke, but it is beautiful. The red ever then also known as a strawberry finch. Dude, it looks like it's been feasting on strawberries. And it got the jam all over its face. That's great, but it's so cute. Jagurundi, a mini cat that looks more like a weasel. Uh, my, that is a cat-weasel hybrid. It doesn't look like either. It looks like both, and it's the cutest parts of both. I just want to snuggle it, even though it'd probably eat my face off. You know, I'm pretty sure this is a macaw, if I'm not mistaken, and I've always loved them from a kid, and I've always wanted to get a pet African Grey when I'm ready in life, because they're a lot of work. Red-shouldered hawk with his little friend. Come on, little buddy, let's go. Let's face it, that, that, that frog is about to be ate by that hawk, but still, 
Fantastic photo, and I hope Mr. Hops made it away. Boba or Bobad trees in Madagascar. Dude, why don't we have any cool plants like this? We just have like pine trees, and I understand like, oh, it's only lame because I grew up with them, but still like, I want some trees that have no branches till the top. That'd be fun to try and climb. Opal looks like it has a nebula inside. A beautiful, beautiful nebula. Also one of my favorite Steven Universe characters, just fun fact. Hexacon Rock Formation at Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. Okay, I've seen photos of these on the internet since I was a kid, and I am visiting this place before I die. I don't care what it takes, I'm doing it because I gotta get some sweet, sweet vlog footage here, man. I made a lamp from a wasp nest. That's really cool, but also, I'm not a big fan of wasps, so... It's kind of creeping me out. What is this beautiful, beautiful creature and where do I see more? Because that's like a jaguar cheetah hybrid that is just majestic. Majestic, that's all I have to say. 150 foot iceberg passing through Iceberg Alley near Fairyland, Newfoundland, Canada. You know that iceberg's where you're like, well, hey there, how's it going, Canada? Yep, just gonna be passing on by. Don't mind me. All right, have a good day there. Black throated loon. Huh, huh. Guess you, could, you know why it's called black throated. Get it? Because it's got a black throat right there. Also, this this bird just looks like a meme. I don't know what it is, but if you just look at its head, it's just like meh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna murder this pronunciation, but Los Glaceries National Park, Pentagonia, Argentina. I tried, okay? But my god, this looks like it's straight out of a movie. Are you sure this isn't a painting, man? This is fantastic. Again, why do I live in America where it's always boring trees and gross Central Park with squirrels eating garbage? I thought this upside down tree overcoming adversary to grow in a brick tunnel was really impressive. How about you? Dude, these are actually a specific tree that do this and I've been seeing them all over the internet recently and there's one in my local airsoft field. They're freaking great, dude. I love them. The size of a full grown albatross. Oh my God, those things are huge. I never realized they could basically whack a human upside the head with their big wing. <laughs> Lynx lodge paws work like snowshoes. Just as snowshoes keep people from sinking in the snow, Link's paws support twice as much weight on snow. Oh my god, he's got kitty mittens. Kitty mittens! Siberian flying squirrel. It may be cute and adorable, but it is looking into your soul. Okay, no, this can't be real. I know it is, but like, I've always wanted to run up and just watch them all fly away in slow motion like in movies. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Left hand rail, bald eagle, bald eagle, bald eagle, right hand rail. Thing from Dark Crystal, bald eagle, bald eagle. <laughs> it's a Skeksis! Look out, it's gonna get ya! <laughs> Dark Crystal is lit though, my dude. A white ghost cicada. Dude, these are the things that I always go like, nah, 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 in trees in summer. And they're cool but creepy looking, but I've never seen one of these and the white one is just so majestic and beautiful. I like to see it in the snow just to see how it blends in. Kingfisher perched on a lotus leaf, photographer Johnson Chow. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. Oh, it looks like a little hummingbird sitting in his little hummingbird flower home. That's adorable. Mother Nature's color palette is legit. Brome, Western Australia, by Ryan Chatfield. You know, you might get killed by some scary spider in Australia or some other scary animal, but it's worth it to see this view. At least I think it is. Oh, look at the little lizards just giving each other a hug. Like, look, they took a photo. Quick hug and look cute for the photo. Double spiral in this cabbage. Is that real? Dude, that looks like an MC Escher level painting. Nature's awesome, dude. Oh, look at the little buddy getting his bed. He's like, just gonna come here, eat him, and look ferocious while doing it. Do, do. The view of the sky, Saturn and Jupiter in the background. You know, there's nothing to say here except just how beautiful that is and how relaxing it is. Just sit out there and watch the sunset with this type of view. I lived in Florida and loved watching the sunset over the horizon of the ocean every day. Ah, good times. The Margrave is adapted to a life spent mainly in trees. It is the only cat that can rotate its hind legs 180 degrees. Forget the creepy legs 180 degrees. Look at those eyes, man. I just want to cuddle him. And look at how curious he looks at the camera, too. This is called an Australian surprise. Yeah, remember what I said about Australia? <laughs> yeah, this is one of those things that you don't want to touch. Wild beehive. Yeah, these are all cool, but like... White-faced wasps, they suck. Bees, cool. White-faced wasps can go to hell. Go straight to hell. Cassowary's eggs are green. That is freaking awesome. It also looks like a blue-footed booby. I've never seen a cassowary before, but that's awesome. This cattle of the Mundari tribe of South Sudan. Sorry if I murdered that name. Dude, they look like just straight-up devil horns. That is legit. I bet they listen to some sweet heavy metal music. Eagle on ice. Just gonna tiptoe over the ice, though. Have fun, bro. Ha, ha, ha.
In rare cases, dead organisms will be filled in with opal rather than mud or stone, creating these mesmerizing fossils. I don't know where to get one of these, but if they're not too expensive, I'm buying one because it looks like straight up like light speed tunnel from Star Wars or like Guardians of the Galaxy warp speed, whatever the heck it's called. That is freaking awesome. Boy, would you look at that name. I am gonna murder the pronunciation of that name, but I'm gonna try my best. Timaria rus insularis is a venomous pit viper, subspecies found in Indonesia and East Timor. Dude, that thing looks like everyone's freaking like fake tattoo or what kids draw a snake to look like, and that's awesome. Also, why does his like little uvula have hairs on it? Either way, that's cool, but scary at the same time. Here we have progression of colors shown in nature. Beautiful, is it not, friends? American Kestrel checking out the humans. How's it going, buds? Mind if I just get a little peek? Oh, you watching uh, American Horror Stories in there? Mind if I just sit here and watch with you? Cool, cool. A 12 million year old playing mantis encased in amber. Well, he's been praying for one long time. Hopefully his dreams are coming true. I don't know what type of snake that is, and it looks like it'd kill me with one bite, but it is beautiful as heck, and I'd love to own one as a companion pet. You know, this one just brings back memory of growing up on a farm. You got the barn cat that eats all the mice that just kind of hangs out and doesn't let you touch it, and you got these things that you touch and get your head cracked on by a big old pile of ice. Yeah, Mike, this could definitely kill you, but it's beautiful as heck, even though it's scary. Meet the Ard Wolf, the littlest murder machine that looks like a weaponized chihuahua. Okay, chihuahuas already kind of scare me because they will bite the crap out of you. This thing is adorable, but I also feel like it's going to rip my entire hand off. An incredible mossagate from Java or Hava, Indonesia. The moss is actually inclusions of dendrites and iron trapped in the agate during its formation, resulting in this beautiful garden-like scene. Again, if this stuff is cheap, I want to buy one of these and put it on a necklace because that is just beautiful. Door to the world, Sedona, Arizona. Huh, that is freaking beautiful. Dude, again, I don't know what to say. All these photos are just so beautiful. Florida Panther on the hunt. You know, the fact that this guy got this photo means he's probably Florida man. He's got the balls to take this picture. Plus, that is one majestic creature. Okay, this looks like a living chessboard. They're like the Terror got the soldiers. Either way, it's awesome, and I'm glad nature made it. Forest light mushrooms are among the 100 fungi species that are bioluminescent. They're usually found in Asia. Again, why can't we have glow in the dark mushrooms. All I got is glow sticks that give off a little bit of radiation and will eventually kill you. Icelandic horse and volcano. My god. It's like if Fabio was a horse. 10 out of 10, friend. Bohemian waxwing eating berries. That is one cute little bird. Also, where did that berry come from? Did he like pick it up and throw it in the air? Either way, adorable. Ah, oh, dude, it's a snake pass. Reminds me of the Serpent Pass episode of Avatar Last Airbender. Don't take that way. Also, cumulus cloud cover. Dude, this happens all the time in Florida, and I love seeing it all the time because it's bright out, but like it's a little barrier in between the sun, and it's just the right temperature. Baby. Baby ant eater. Oh my god, he's adorable and he's hugging the little stuffed dog. That's great. The moon disguised as Saturn, captured by Francisco Sojol, sorry for mispronounce that, on the oh god name I can't pronounce volcano. Dude, the moon just be looking sweet sometimes. It's in disguise as Saturn and I'm loving it. Spring that flows through a living tree. Huh, that's pretty cool. Where is this? I want to visit this place and, you know, plug the hole just to see what happens. Now again, something like this is beautiful, but I remind you I grew up with this and it sucks walking outside to be in so cold your face hurts, but damn, the view is worth it. Extremely rare white cougar. Get it? Because I'm cougar, the narrator? Yeah. Highlights are quick of the species. Another white cougar may not appear in my lifetime. You know, bud, you're out here representing all cougars like me, and you're killing it. I wish I could be that pretty, but no, I just got two different colored eyes. Vietnamese mossy frogs. Non-smokable, of course. <laughs> Dude looks like a little nug of the good stuff, but they're the cute stuff. Ah, Aurora Borealis. Something I hope to see before I die. Anyways, if you made it this far, hopefully you found some nature that really, really did it for you. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you like to see more of down in the comments below. Have a good day, be good people, and remember, stay safe out there, everyone. And also, sometimes you just gotta go outside and enjoy nature.